What's going on my people, it's your boy Mr. Little back with another video and today we're talking about fragrances. Stay tuned. Tell the fly to an ending with me. Take a ride, come and vibe on the water and see. Yeah. Before I get into the video today, guys, make sure you are checking out my Instagram. Almost to 16k over on that platform. Once again, I want to thank you all for supporting you, boy. I really, really do appreciate it. And to all of my subscribers, Samurai Bao. Now the title of this video is called The Best Fragrance You Can Buy. And I truly do believe this is the best fragrance you can buy with your money. Now this is a designer fragrance, right? I have not smelled all of the designer fragrances, nor have I smelled all of the niche fragrances. Now this isn't the only fragrance that I own. I own many of fragrances, actually. I'll show you guys a couple. Don't know if you guys have ever seen this one before, but this one is Sweet Tobacco 1821 Man Made. It's amazing. It smells like honey and tobacco and masculinity and sexiness. It smells really, really good. One of my favorite fragrances, Dior Own Cologne. This is perfect for, in my experiences, this is actually perfect for the gym. I wear this to the gym a lot. Uh, springtime, summertime, citrusy, and um, very clean. Very clean, it's like a, what you expect fresh laundry to smell like. Yeah, this 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 is amazing. Dior Own Cologne, this is my freshie. Dolce Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum. Of course, I have to have this in my collection. I mean, this is such a undeniably sexy fragrance, right, by women. Um, even guys would be like, yo, yo, yo man, you, you smell, smell kind of good, bro. I mean, what you, you know what I'm saying? What, that, that's new? You, okay, 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 yeah, that's nice. I like that, I like that. Yeah, this this stuff right here is is in the league of its own. You have to have this. You have to have Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDP. So, so amazing. Yeah, dope, dope, dope fragrance right here. CH Men Privé. The original CH Men is really good, but Privé, it's really good because it has some added leather in there. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely smell the leather. It's almost like a, it's like a sugary leather. That's the best way. It smells like sugar in here and it smells like leather is in here, but this goes really well with leather jackets. Denim smells really, smells really masculine. Women really love this. It smells really masculine, smells really good. I usually wear this uh, when I go out with the homies at night, throw on this. They call this kind of like a bad boy fragrance. I can see that, but it's good stuff. Ultra Mall, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Man, this stuff is good too. Let's actually spray this. Man, <sighs> bubble gummy, definitely club fragrance. It's fun. Um, man, it just smells like bubble gum. That's exactly what it smells like. And it smells damn good. The heavy hitter, Blue de Chanel. Eau de Parfum. Love, 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 love this stuff. Arguably the best opening of any fragrance, arguably. I mean, this the opening on this stuff, whew, opening on this stuff, wow. Punches you right in your face. And you guys may have not heard of this one, but Ted Baker London CU. This is a office fragrance. This is a business meeting fragrance. This is a white collar shirt. I haven't smelled this in a while, actually. Mmm, yeah. Patchouli, patchouli, patchouli. I love patchouli. And this is as patchouli as you can get right here. Ted Baker London CU. If you haven't smelled it in your local Nordstrom, give it a smell. It is very business-like, it is very office-like, but it's necessary when you are in those type of settings. Ted Baker, see you. And that brings me to what this video was about. Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Now, all the fragrances I have are designer fragrances, right? I'm, I don't own any niche fragrances. I have a bunch of samples and a bunch of decants of niche fragrances, but niche fragrances tend to be a little bit on the expensive side. And uh, if you don't know what the difference between designer and niche fragrances are, niche fragrances, they specialize in fragrances. So that's all they make is fragrances. Fragrances, fragrances, fragrances. Whereas though designer fragrances, they make uh, shoes, bags, you know, Dior, Chanel, Armani, all these different brands. They don't just specialize in colognes or perfumes. They specialize in everything. So they're called designer fragrances. And then the niche fragrances are 
the houses that just specialize in making fragrances. That's all they do. But with that being said, um, I paid $77 for this bottle right here. Usually this retails for about, I wanna say like 125 for 100 mil, Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum, but the pushback I get on this fragrance and me saying this is the best fragrance you can buy with your money, the pushback is not from females. The pushback is from the fellas. Oh, you're gonna smell the same as everyone else. That's so basic. Get your nose on this, get your nose on that. Listen, that's all fine and dandy, right? Being unique, standing out, that's great. But what's it really about? Am I trying to smell good for the fellas out there? Or am I trying to smell good for the ladies? You're trying to smell good for the ladies. And this stuff is undeniable when it comes to the ladies. I wish I've gotten all the ladies' reactions over the years from wearing this stuff. Of course, I used to wear the original Dior Sauvage. This is the Eau de Parfum and now they have the Parfum. But just, it's undeniable, guys. It's undeniable how good Dior Sauvage is and how much it appeals not only to the masses, but to the ladies. There is a time and a place where you can show off your fragrance knowledge, right? Whether you're at a convention or you're going to a cocktail party or you're going out with the fellas and you want to smell different. Okay, yeah, you can wear Creed Aventus, right? You can wear Parfums de Marley Harrod or Layton, or you can wear Bond Number no. 9, some of the more unique fragrances on the market. But if you just wanna smell amazing, you wanna to appeal to women, right? This is the stuff. Dior Sauvage, Eau de Parfum, this is it. Get your hands on it, get your nose on it. I'm sure you smelled it before. And if you smelled it and you put it down or you let someone in the frag community deter you away from it, pick it back up, wear it around, let your female smell this compared to other fragrances and then you'll see what it is. What I will say also about Dior Sauvage, right, is even if you're wearing it and another guy is wearing it, it's about how you're wearing it. Like tonight, I'm not wearing Dior Sauvage. Tonight with this outfit, I'm gonna wear a sweet tobacco man-made. I'm gonna wear this, right? That's the vibe I'm going with, right? We got some blues on, we got some fur going on, right? Gonna be rocking my newly acquired Gordon Rush Hunters in the coffee colorway and I'm about to wear the heck out of these. But tonight I'm wearing this. I'm not wearing Dior Sauvage, right? Because it's not the right vibe. I could wear it, but I'm not going to wear it, right? That's why I have different colognes for different occasions. You know what I mean? It's about how you're wearing the cologne. It's about where you're wearing the cologne. It's about how that cologne is mixing with your body's chemistry, right? And it's about, are you dripping swag anyway? Okay, because she's gonna smell the dripping of the swaggage. She's gonna smell the Dior Sauvage. It's gonna mix well. She's gonna love it. And I don't wanna hear nothing else about it. Again, guys, the best fragrance you can buy with your money today is Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Last long, mass appealing, beautiful scent trail. Ladies love it. And it's great stuff. Check it out if you haven't checked it out already. And uh, let me know what you think. And that's all I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. If you guys got any feedback for me on having Dior Sauvage or my designer fragrances or whatever, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out my Instagram, guys. Help me get to 16K. And until next time, peace.